In a previous program, I did a little experiment to see how well herb cuttings rooted in the fall. And about half of them did root. And here they are right here. Now I'm going to do a different experiment to see how well these will grow in an indoor hydroponic system. For that, I'm going to use my Let Pot Max unit. It's got lots of space for all the herbs, and it's got a good light system on it. That system uses holders like this and a type of sponge that goes inside the holders. Now these are designed for seed. So you normally put a little seed in the top, set it in the unit, the seed sprouts, the roots grow down and into the water. Since I'm not starting with seeds, I have to come up with a different way of doing this. And what I've decided to do is to split these down the side. And then I'll take the rooted cutting and set it inside the sponge so that the roots hang out the bottom. And when I take this and put it in the holder, it holds quite nicely. So I'm going to take one rooted herb cutting from each of these, make a holder like this, and set it in my Let Pop Max. Then we'll turn it on, let it run for a few weeks, and I'll bring you back to show you what the results look like. It's been a number of weeks and I'm here with my hydroponic test systems. This is the Let Pop Max unit that I used to test the rooted herbs. If you remember, we had five of the herbs that got rooted. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it at the end of this one. I went out in fall, collected some herbs, tried to root them to see which ones root easily in water. I took the ones that were rooted and now I want to see how well they grow hydroponically. Back here I have the marjoram. Uh, it doesn't look very good, but that's really my fault. I let it dry out too much before I put it in the hydroponic system. So that one's a bit of a bust. My fault, not the plant's fault. Here's the sage. It's doing really well. Got a nice root system. Good growth on top. Smells lovely. And I've had sage before in hydroponics and it's a pretty easy grower. This is my rosemary. It's not very tall, but I did have it growing here under this big basil. So it's growing slowly, but it's developed a nice root system. It's just a slower growing plant. And I think as I raised the light for the basil, it ended up not giving this one enough light to grow. So I really should have put it over here near the edge or moved the basil one or the other. Uh, this points out one of the problems with these hydroponic systems. You can only have the light at a certain height and you kind of have to set it for the tallest plant. So when you're growing different types of plants, the slower growers and the smaller plants, they never get enough light. They're being shaded by the larger plant and the light is too far away from them. These systems work best when you're growing one type of plant throughout the whole system. Now back here we had some borage. Now it was growing reasonably well. It started to flower, so I had to nip the top off. And then a couple days ago I came out here and noticed that it was developing white fly. And I don't want that in my collection, so I threw it outside to get rid of it. It wasn't doing really well. The roots were kind of brown. It wasn't really growing well. I'm not convinced it's a great candidate for hydroponics. Well, in the middle here, we have my basil. It's a beautiful red color. And in fact, it was larger than this. There was another big stem here, but we ate that last night. It's a great plant. I've grown basil before in hydroponics, and basil grows really well. So if you're new to hydroponics, that's a good one to choose. Now, I could very easily take cuttings here, root them in water, and then put them back into this system. In fact, I'm pretty sure I could cut these and put them right in here and let them root here. They would root just as well in here as a jar of water. 
So what's the conclusion of this? Some herbs root easier than others in water, particularly when they're taken in fall. The rooted herbs mostly grow well in hydroponics. A system like the Let Pop Max here could easily grow three or four different herbs. And as long as you pinch them back and keep them all around the same size, you'd have a good mixture of herbs for your kitchen. Now, if you missed the video on rooting these things, I'll put a link to that right here. And down here, I'll put a link to my other hydroponic videos. Happy gardening.